Hello, 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 y'all. Felt the need for a little tune. Um, Tyler Ramey back with you live. Uh, and I am super starving, as always. If you are new to my channel and just checking me out, hello. Actually, hello, hello, hello. Um, I've been told I need to put that on a shirt. Hello, 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 y'all. So welcome to my channel if you're new. Please hit that subscribe button. Um, I eat and talk and I have cats and we, we just have a good time here on the Tyler Ramey channel. We, I, I don't know what to tell you except for that. Um, and today, it's been one of those days. Not really. Um, but it's been a long day, long, long, good day. A uh, very physically active day. And your boy is about to eat his fist off, okay? So, it's one of those times when, does anybody else do this at home? I go to the grocery store and I get a week's worth of groceries and I'm ready and I'm, I've got stuff for meals and I've got, I've, bum, 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 honey, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared, okay? And then I get home and when push comes to shove and I get off of work, what do I do? What I do right now and I'm en route to Panda Express, okay? Because nothing sounds good or I don't want to go through the debacle of cooking. Does anybody ever do that at home? I would really like to know if I'm the only one. Um, sometimes I'll even leave the grocery store with food to cook and go get takeout and bring it back. Now granted, it's just me, so half the time it is easier and, and cheaper, if not the same price, for me to go and get food for me. Uh, so today we are headed to Panda Express. Lady T got me craving some Chinese food in some kind of way, okay? She had Chinese takeout food and y'all, that lo mein was starving me to death. So. That's all that's on my brain. Um, so I will check back in with you when we are going through the drive-thru and I'll let you know what we get. I've not been I've not been to Panda in a while, so it's gonna be interesting. We'll see what they got. I'll talk to you in just a second. Okay y'all, it's about to go down and I'm about to yell timber and I'm about to order. So let me look at what I got on the menu here. I always get so confused. Thank you for choosing Panda. This is Courtney. Would you like to try a new five flavor trip today? Um, probably. Uh, can I get the bigger plate with lo mein, the shrimp, the five whatever shrimp, five flavor shrimp? And then what else do I need to choose? Two things? One thing? Just one more thing. One more thing. Um, white rice. Spring rolls, egg rolls, and ring ants for you today? Uh, no. And would you like to donate just a dollar to the Mass Children's Hospital? Oh, sure. Did you say yes? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh, did you want that bigger plate? Um, I guess so. Is And then I need to choose one more thing if I get that? Yeah. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, um, do you have any just like the veggies? We have mixed veggies, yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Ready? Does everything look correct on your screen? Yes. It's going to be 11 dollars at your window. Okay, thank you. No problem. And the Express is getting expensive. Even with my dollar donation. Okay, let me get this home and um, I'll chat with you guys there. Ripley, you want to be on camera? Do you? Hmm? Come on. Come up here. Come on. There's Sissy. I know. I called you fat in the last video, and I'm sorry, but... <sighs> She's so skinny. Okay. They're, they're going to be watching during the video. They'll probably make some appearances. They'll probably find the background. You know how that goes. <sighs> We've returned. Um, let me go ahead and show you what I'm going to drink, and then what I'm going to eat, and then we're gonna, just going to tear right into this. So for a drink today... We've got some Diet Snapple Peach and my ginormous cup of ice. Uh, the kitties are down here. I don't know if you saw them before, but they are down here and they will probably remain in the video, so. Thirsting to death and I hate it when the ice gets trapped down and you have to do this. We'll see. The ice will unlodge itself eventually. And I'm gonna put this to the side because it's very tall and in the way and I want the ice to come up. It's coming. Um, I've got some Aldi Sriracha because I don't know if I'll need it and I BYO soy sauce 
because I get the redu reduced sodium. So, look at this, y'all. It's a big old bag for just little old me, but trust me, I can put it away. So, let's see what I ended up getting. Oh, look at this little thing. Oh, this must be my rice. My plain, unadulterated white rice, which I could eat just by itself all the time. Mm. Look, y'all. Nappies. Make sure that you can just see perfectly what I have. Mmm. Mmm-mm-mm. Lo mein, five flavor shrimp, uh, steamed veggies. And they gave me some plum sauce and more soy. More soy, more soy, more soy. And you know what? I've got chopsticks, but I ain't even fooling with it tonight because I'm famished, so I have a fork. So let me get this situated on the plate and then we'll be back. <coughs> I've got something in my throat, y'all, and I apologize in advance. I'm gonna do a little soy. I already put some sriracha on here off camera. I know how dare I. Um, some soy on the lo mein, on the shrimpies, a little on my rice. I've already got loads of sriracha on there. And I've got my tea down here. Did y'all see when I had a disaster in a film? But honey, we leave that in because that's real life. So I am just going to dig into this for a minute because I can't even tell y'all the amount of hungry I am. Let me go ahead and do a thumbnail while I'm thinking about it. Okay. Oh my gosh, y'all. Ever since Lady T threw down on some lo mein, it is all that has consumed my brain. I am not kidding you. So let's go ahead and give this a big taste. And I can tell you right now, I'm going to polish all of this off. So just prepare yourselves mentally. I can't talk about it. I can't, I can't even tell, I can't even talk to y'all about how good that is. Mm. Got some veggies here to balance out. Mmm. Let me tell you something about panda veggies. They're never overdone. They've always got that crisp bite. Got my diet peach tea. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So how's everybody's day? Um, it's Monday. By the upload, by the time I upload, it'll probably be Tuesday. So I hope you survived your Monday. I hope it was relatively stress-free and 100% enjoyable. This shadow does nothing for my face. It's a little bit dark outside today. It was actually not scalding hot. Here is the, I'm interested in this. This is the five flavor shrimp. Okay. Mm. Very good. I'm not sure about the five flavors. I'll get back to you. I tasted the sweetness, a sour. Mm. Y'all, I can't quit this lo mein. I wish I could quit you, but I can't. Mm. Mm. Got that deep breathing, inhale and exhaling going on. I gotta slow down on this. Don't y'all know the rules? If you're starving, you can't load up on liquid. All it's gonna do is fill up room in your tummy, and you're not gonna be able to eat as much. So I gotta slow down on the drinking, okay? And save room for all the deliciousness. Now, again, I told you I could just eat plain white rice all the time and be completely and utterly happy. I could eat three meals a day. I'm not kidding you. I've always always had a love affair with rice. Hmm. With good reason. And again, that has a little bit of sriracha and soy, but still. Mm. I could eat it as is and be happy as a lark. There's some cabbage in here. The veggies are cabbage, green beans. Looks like maybe zucchini. good. I 
have to have a little sip, y'all, to cool down that sriracha. So, I hope everybody, it's truly, is having a good week. Um, I finally, this weekend, y'all, last weekend, if you watched my other videos, I told you that it was insanity. I didn't have time to film. I didn't have time to do anything. I had to do work things uh, all day. I work anyway on Saturday mornings, but all day Saturday afternoon, all Saturday night, and then Sunday was Mother's Day. That was crazy. It was one of those weekends where by the time Monday rolls around, you feel like you were pushed out in front of a train and you don't even know where you are. So that's what happened to me this past. So this weekend, honey, oh, I told everybody, look, I'm not doing anything. Don't ask. I told my mom, love you. Don't ask. On Sunday, or Saturday rather, I am coming home from work. I get home from work about noon. I went to the grocery store and then, honey, I did not leave. I vegged out on my couch and did nothing. And it was absolutely fabulous. Got an onion here. Fabulous. I need that. I absolutely need that. For as much as I'm social in my job and in my what social life I do have, that shrimp, the sauce that's on that shrimp is good, y'all. For, um, for as social as I am, I have to have that balance. Have to have that balance of doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. And it really is like so cliche, and I used to hear people say that all the time, and I never really believed it, of like, I just need time to recharge. Okay, honest to goodness, that's the truth. My meter was at absolute empty. Had to do it. And there is nothing wrong. We're taking time for yourself. Because guess what? At the end of the day, guess who you got to worry about for the rest of your life? Yourself. I take myself out on dates all the time. And love it. I get on my own nerves sometimes. Mm. It's all so good. I can't even discuss it. And y'all, I've been feeling guilty lately, and I need your advice. Um, I have a job, and, and let me preface this by telling you that I absolutely have the best job known to mankind. I work in a, I would say a gym, but it's a YMCA. We can't call it a gym. Because it is not a gym. We have a gym, but it's not a gym. It is a cause. C-A-U-S-E. So I work at the Y, and I am over a, a program, a department, and I'm over multiple people, um, uh, different employees, and I'm, I'm in charge of scheduling and teaching and doing and running and supervising and training, and I love every aspect of the job 100% truly. However, do y'all ever wish people in, in either jobs where you are supervising people or in a job where you work with a team of people, do you ever wish that you just had to worry about yourself. Can I get an amen, please, and thank you on that one, because, y'all, I just wanna worry about me. I'm not, and I'm, I'm really conflicted inside, and do I need to feel guilty about that? I just think, that A, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a control freak. Okay, I'll be the first to tell you. It's hard for me to relinquish control. I am more of a, let me do this for you and show you the right way than to teach you how to do it, which I know is a flaw and I'm working on that. However, I 
I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna do it. I don't have to worry about that aspect. To have to worry about that from other people, and it seems like I won't have to worry about it for a long time, and then it just boom, 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 it happens back to back to back to back. And right now I'm just in one of those moods where I'm like, I just want to worry about myself. Do I ever get like that? Remember in school, when you would have projects, team team projects, and again, I love people, but I absolutely despised that sort of thing. Not because I don't like people, not at all. I didn't and don't want other people affecting, affecting my job slash grade. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because what ends up happening, people like me, the control freak who refuse to get a bad grade or refuse to have a bad looking job, I don't know how it relates to a job world, end up doing all the work and then other people bring you down. And I don't really like that. I just want to worry about myself and my actions and consequences based on that. And granted, I am lucky and blessed beyond absolute measure for my job, and people would give their right arm for it. And I acknowledge that. But sometimes it gets a little bit old. Mm, mm, mm. There's the gray cat. I feel guilty if you watch my last video. Because I called her fat. I wish you could see her. She's laying down right now and being so cute. Um, but I've heard from a lot of you. And I think it may just be her type of cat that she is. Maybe a different type than Ripley, the white kitty. And honey, maybe she's just more to love. And now listen. I don't care if she stays fat, as long as she stays healthy. I just want my babies to be healthy, okay? I was Googling the other day how to make your cats live the longest life possible. Thinking how sad your life is, my life. But I love them. I'm looking at Ripley right now. She's in my room on the couch, upstairs on the couch. I have a couch upstairs as well. And they sit on it and just stare out the window. I call it kitty TV. And they just watch kitty TV all day long. I leave the windows open. So they can see out. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So again, I don't want to come off negative with that job stuff. And let me know in the comments below if you understand what I'm saying, if you agree or disagree. I just want to worry about myself. I think that would be so nice to have a job where it's like, you only have to worry about your actions and your responsibility and your job duties. Nobody else's even plays a factor. I would love that. Part of me would really like to be a realtor. The problems are this. No benefits, and benefits are huge right now. Well, I mean, benefits are always huge, but insurance, all that stuff. No benefits. And I feel like our area has a lot of realtors for as small of a community as this is um, in Northeast Tennessee. The plus is that I do know everybody. Everybody here. And so that, you know, I have a built-in kind of network and I do think I would do well at it. But again, it's those benefits, y'all. And then I could maybe potentially at some point go to a part-time basis um, at my current job where I am only have to worry about myself and doing the things that I love and not having to worry about the other stuff. And I know we all have stuff. I know this. gone. It was a goner. I'm put a little teensy bit more soy sauce on the noodles. 
My stomach is saying, hurry, Tyler, honey, you're getting full and you're going to have to shovel it in. Hi, Rippy. Come here. You want to be on camera? Come here. Uh. Come here, then. She always wants to be on camera until I start to pick her up. Come here. Oh, please. Oh. Want your treat? You want me to give you a treat in a minute? She's living. Don't you want to eat on camera and be famous in a kitty world? No. Nope. Look at this face, y'all. That's perfection. It's kitty perfection. Where's Sissy? You want to be on camera? She's sitting right here. Come here. No, she ran. Come here. It's funny, y'all. In some Asian restaurants, I will see, it will say like, coconut shrimps. S-H-R-I-M-P-S. <laughs> instead of coconut shrimp. Mm. Mm -hmm. Whatever that spice is, yes. Whatever that pie flavor is, yes. I'm running low on food, y'all. Oh, I need new Netflix suggestions. Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. I really, I'll tell you what I like. I love dramas. I love strong female characters. I'm not so big into comedies. Um, I would rather have it drama with maybe a little bit of comedy, if, if at all. St. Orange is New Black. I've seen Wentworth, which in my opinion is a much better Orange is the New Black. It's about a, a prison in Australia, a women's prison. If you haven't seen that and you like Orange is the New Black, check it out. It's on Netflix. It's an Australian show. Um, what else have I watched lately? Enlightened with Laura Dern. I have HBO, so if you know of any HBO shows that you think would pique my interest. I tried to watch Westworld and could not get into it for the life of me. But... I'm not super into westerns and that whole time period in general, so that could be part of the problem with that. The cats are fighting. So yeah, I really would love a show to binge watch. Even if it's older, let me know. I have Netflix, Hulu. CBS Now and HBO Now. Is that what it's called? HBO Now? And the only reason I do CBS is because I watch Survivor. I know I'm one of the few. Mmm. Here's a fun fact, Tony fans. Look, my scar is still there where I fell down the stairs. It's getting better. Um, Tony is friends, good friends, with um, Aubrey. Aubrey Brocco, who was on this season of Survivor and was on the last season of Survivor. So that's a fun little interesting tidbit. They're literally wrestling right here. The cats, not Tony and Aubrey. Although, I would pay to see that. That would be hilarious. To see Tony and Aubrey in a fist fight. Anybody want to take wagers on how that would end? My money's going on Aubrey. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Last bite, I'm sad, y'all. I told you I would plow through this in no time. I was absolutely starving. I biked to work seven miles, and then I taught three classes and then biked back all within the span of this day. So this was nothing, okay? Yes, y'all. Okay. 
I'm gonna wrap this up, clean this up. Again, if you're new, please subscribe. Join the insanity. And to all my current subscribers, hello, 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 y'all. I love you. See I'm fighting in the background? Welcome to my life. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Keep that conversation going. I absolutely love talking to you guys. So get that conversation going below. And I hope everybody has a fabulous day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.